I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, in this room we're looking at a Google Chromecast, but here's the catch. This is not a real Chromecast. This is a counterfeit Chromecast. So, a um, little backstory behind this. I didn't actually buy this. This was actually from my uh, co-worker um, and at the college I work at. One of the instructors in our area um, had purchased this. The idea was to be able to um, stream video from his uh, Surface, I think it's Surface Pro. Um, stream video from that um, to a uh, to the uh, classroom podium, which has an HDMI input, and a Chromecast. Um, that was sort of an idea, um, but we ultimately did figure out a way to get it done using a different kind of device, more or less a Miracast device. So. The Chromecast, it allows you to stream um, either your like your Chrome browser uh, or also um, your desktop from, of course, your computer to your, let's say, your TV on your home network. These seem to be more intended for like home use. Now, I have limited experience of actually messing with one of these, uh, a genuine Chromecast. Um, but this right here is definitely not a real Chromecast. So I'll set this right here and I'll include a photo from the internet of an actual Chromecast package or box or whatever you want to call it. So you can notice how there's quite a difference there. Um, but sometimes, I mean, you may have to look closely to see it. But this one right here is a pretty is a pretty bad knockoff, to be honest. I mean, if you look here, they use uh, Arial font instead of uh, the actual font that Google used, and you can see TV streaming device streaming device by Google again Arial, and of course misspelling streaming. And you gotta love that knockoff of the YouTube logo. And it's not even the current YouTube logo. That is the older YouTube logo. And it's, it's such a horrible knockoff of the actual YouTube logo. Um, they've also knocked off the Pandora logo too. It's just Ariel there. It looks like the Spotify, the HBO now, the C CBS. Uh, those logos are legit. Got the old Google Play logo and millions of videos and songs probably in a different font than the actual um, Chromecast device so if you look on the side here you got all these different things that you can do with the legit Chromecast you can use it to stream um, TV shows and stuff like that um, and they're pretty handy devices actually if you got a uh, if you got an older TV that's not smart enabled um, this allows you to do a lot of stuff on it and you can see the back here and um, again just actually it's funny on the back okay so the larger font they used Arial but down here we actually have two different <laughs> we got two different Helvetica fonts here got more of a, con a uh, condensed font there and a bigger uh, font there overall just a terrible knockoff it's a terrible knockoff of the actual Chromecast. Just wait till we get out of the box. But they actually have, they actually do have the knockoff Chromecast pictured there. It's not the, that, that right there is definitely not the Chrome logo. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed here. Um, I think we have just about everything we need here. I may have to supply a USB power adapter, but it's not a big deal. I can do that. So, here you have the uh, USB cable. Let's go ahead and get this wire tie off here. So, yeah, um, a co worker, I was telling him, <laughs> what was funny is me and him both were 
and we had unboxed it and we decided to try it out and that's when I was of course looking at the box and I was like uh, hey this is not a real Chromecast this is a fake but the funny thing is had this thing just been a little more powerful it actually would have served his needs perfectly for what he was doing with it I'll get onto that here in a moment so we have this K-Wet plugs in to the the fake Chromecast you got your Wi-Fi here and your USB power right there and we got a I've got a power supply where I can plug it into. Sometimes people will plug this into their TV and you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to use the actual USB power adapter, which this does not appear to have, which is probably not such a bad thing because it probably would have been a really hazardous thing to use anyway. Um, there you go, guys. Look at that fake. Look at that fake. Um, fake chrome logo ain't that just nice <laughs> right, that's just lovely so yeah we're going to actually plug this up to a TV today and uh, try it out so I already know how this thing works and it's definitely not a legit Chromecast it's actually a Miracast device what's funny is you this is this is the manual that, that it came with airplay box you got this Chinese right here, it looks like. It's the uh, charge, display, plug and play, 1080p HD, scan the code to upgrade. What? Yeah, look. Have a look at this. Airplay box user manual. So. Now the funny thing is, is this little manual here does actually correspond with what the device actually does. You got your fake Chromecast right there. You can see the little illustration of how to plug this up. Um, you got all the compatible devices there. You got, uh, let's see, I, lo I love the, instead of saying uh, um, iPad, it's called a pad. It's a phone slash pad. And, uh, you can also use a laptop with this. So let me get you. Let's go get you a look at everything. You may have to pause to view and make sure you're viewing this in 1080p. Trying to get everything here on a frame. Get my finger out of the way, it'd be nice. It's really just, uh, yeah, it tells you how to do it through iOS and how to uh, do it via Android. I may even try, I may even try connecting my phone to this. So, you know what's funny? is uh, it gives you a little specification list. It tells you the main chip it has, the uh, the Wi-Fi frequency it works on, the OS, the RAM, the memory, the resolution. Um, now that 1080p, I'm going to question that um, because last time we had tried this uh, on a computer, at least broadcasting a PC, it didn't look so well. All right, so um, we turn around to the back and see it's in Chinese, it appears. Yeah, lovely as ever. <laughs> Definitely not a Chromecast. I mean, I mean, if we if we just got rid of this and just had this, I mean, it would look like a Chromecast, but they saw the, the, the obviously not real Chrome logo and this AirPlay box manual. You would then, of course, know it's not a Chromecast, but anyways, I'm going to go uh, hook this up to the TV and we'll um, test this thing out. Okay, so now we're here in the living room. I got this thing, I'm going to call it thing, 
plugged up to the uh, living room TV. Um, it's actually behind the TV here because the HDMI ports are way back inside there. Yeah, that was that was nice and fun trying to get access to with the sink mounts of the wall. And of course, because I was too cheap to buy a full swivel mount. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh it's plugged into a TV, but um, of course the USB cable is not long enough to get anywhere near where my power is. So. I'm going to try running this off of a, a USB power bank. Let's hope for the best here. Plug this in and see if it boots up. I think it's on. Here we are. Okay, so it's running. Alright, so this is what you end up getting um, when you boot this thing up. It's literally just that. It's any cast, easy sharing, and it's uh, it says waiting for mirror cast connecting. Definitely not Chromecast, <laughs> is it? But um, connecting to this thing is actually relatively easy um, from let's say a Windows 10 laptop because um, Windows 10 actually has mirror cast built right in. So in just a moment, we'll go ahead and get uh, hooked up to that. So the funny thing is, you can see right here, we have a picture of the fake Chromecast right here. Uh, yeah, so Miracast, I believe that's something that's actually built into uh, some smart TVs. And of course, this is not a smart TV, and it doesn't have that functionality. So a, a device like that would actually be pretty useful. So I can go ahead and get this hooked up to the uh, laptop here, which is I got setting below the fireplace. So. Go into the laptop here and go into this uh, menu here. And we should, yep, we can see the option to connect if we select that. You'll see this AnyCast display. Huh. I think it says it wants to connect to, yeah, to, connect to the Action Center. Try to reconnect to the action center or settings or whatever. So we'll go into settings and give that a shot. Go to display, which is in system. Connect to a wireless display. All right, let's see if it'll connect this time. Yep, it's, it's actually connecting. Okay. So now we can actually see the we can actually see our uh, our laptop here on this screen. So what I'm going to do here is on the laptop, I'm going to see if I can have it just um, display on the Miracast display. So that will be number two. Let's see if I can get full 1080p. Alright, so now we're exclusively running on the uh, Miracast. <laughs> What's crazy is uh, now, so what happened now, everything looks all blocky. It's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm running on just number two, it's just, um, like you can see how hard it is to read that. It's just, it looks horrible. So... Let me let me choose extend. See what happens. Let's let's run it as a second display. Let's hit keep changes on that. Now I'm actually going to drag this. Sorry, I'm doing this from the floor, so bear with me here. And my TV is not is of course not showing everything. 
Uh. Oh, that's another thing is this thing tends to be, it tends to lag behind, uh, which I'll try to demonstrate that in a YouTube video. I'll play, I'll play a video on this thing here, here in a moment. So try to get this back over to my primary screen. Come on. Oh, so it's actually got uh, it's actually got the uh, mirror cast display on the left and the laptop screen on the right. Okay, why in the world is it doing that? Oh man. Yes, and this thing is it's just it lags. <laughs> it, it lags. You remember what I said earlier in this video? Um, if this thing was a little more powerful, um, it would actually. It could actually be useful as at least a mirror cast um, hub. So let's uh, let's see here. So it's only given. It seems only be giving me the option to adjust the resolution of the original. So. Clearly, we can tell that if we extend or only display on the Miracast device, it's just, it looks, it looks awful. So let me, before I go further, let's get a better look at the screen here. Because I know you're looking at it from a distance. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that just a little bit here. And I'll probably even cut the light out in here. All right, so. Okay, now you can probably better see what's on the screen here. So, right now I've got it set to extend this light, which would be like a multi-monitor setup. So, um, for example, if I change this to um, well first I'm going to hit make this my main display on the laptop display. Now I'm going to actually change it to duplicate and watch what happens. You know, here's something funny. It seems like I think when I first connected to this thing, it, they actually the the, the the quality of the video actually looked a little better. So let me disconnect from this. Uh, and you can see it's already disconnected. So let's go ahead and reconnect back and see what happens. So connect to a wireless display. Any cast, there we are again. And you can see it's detecting the laptop. It's getting ready to hook up. Uh, apparently it dropped out. No, it's this it's uh, connecting it says. So yeah, this thing is pretty flaky. This thing, there it goes, it's trying to display. It says connected to Anycast on the laptop. It's just, uh, you see, there we are. Now that actually, that actually looks better. It doesn't look quite as bad. Um, now to be honest, if it would look, see now, blah, now it looks like garbage. I don't know what the deal is there. Maybe it's maybe it's not getting enough uh, uh, transmission on the Wi-Fi signal. Now the crazy thing is, is my laptop is like right here, right below it. So it doesn't. It's not like I'm. Uh, it's not like I'm making it have to, to transmit a signal over a long distance. Now I should mention, it's not. I'm using my little Red HP laptop to do this demonstration. 
Um, now the instructor who bought this, um, he tried this with this, uh, his uh, Microsoft Surface and the same thing happened. Same, similar thing. I mean, had a Surface within feet of the uh, fake Chromecast and it did the same thing. So, just for fun, I'm going to pull up YouTube. Now it does seem like it's pulling up stuff pretty quick there, but um, one thing you can see, I mean, you can just tell how, <clears throat> like when I first connected into this, it looked nice. It looked actually, it looked, it looked pretty clear. It was displaying, of course, not at 1080p because it was duplicating the laptop screen, which is, uh, I think, uh, 1366 by 768. Yeah, this, this laptop does not even have a full 1080p screen, but um, <clears throat> it actually did not look half bad. But now it's it's just it looks like garbage. It's not uh, it's not actually transmitting in the uh, full resolution. Now it's funny. It, oh yeah, it's still you can you can look at the text and see it. Everything looks kind of blocky. So. See, yeah, the funny thing is, it's been, uh, it's been so long since I actually had used this uh, HP laptop that I had to actually sign back in to everything. But, um, so let's go to the Q, go to Qcure channel. And let's try to play something. Show you how it plays a video, for example. Now, it may actually try to, uh, yeah, it's actually going, yeah. So let me actually turn the volume down on this just a little bit because I'm not sure what the volume is on the television here. Um, as you can hear, it actually also transmits sound. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and pull up, um, let's do a short real quick, a YouTube short. Let's try something else, uh, something that's actually on the street. Uh, bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a different video and actually play it full screen. Hey, I have a second channel. Q Copy MTDX. Alright, so let's see how this does. Everybody, here we're looking at a 2014 Magitek Plus. So this device here is rather interesting. It's, uh, of course, it, it so, succeeds um, the original Magitek Plus. Let me turn this volume down a little bit. I still have one in service, and my parents have one in service. It's a little smaller. Than so that. one thing I can I can say that it does seem to be playing video okay. There's a little bit of lag here and there, but what's funny it was the first is. It seems like there's more lag in the mouse cursor than there is the actual video. Um, <clears throat> but the thing is, we're still not we're still not running in full HD, or even not full HD, but not even the uh, the native screen resolution of the laptop display. So that's kind of where this that's kind of a letdown on this device but hey I mean it it does actually function as a uh, as a mirror cast device but it's just <laughs> it's, it's it's a mirror cast device that look that wants to look like a Chromecast on the outside but actually not function exactly as a Chromecast so um, now let's go ahead and uh, try my phone All right, so I'm going to disconnect, and now we're going to try to hook up my Android phone. Okay, so I believe there's actually a number of different ways you could connect an Android phone using Miracast. But uh, one way I did it a while back was I uh, 
Let's see. Uh, now, actually, I have a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus phone here. And there's probably an option in there somewhere to enable wireless display. But the way I did it was I, uh, I downloaded an app that kind of does it for you. It's a Miracast right there. And uh, it says, and the, the only thing about this is sometimes it will launch up with a little ad and whatnot. But um, it says, caution, some Android device don't support streamcast. I hit connect. Um, and I, have to, I actually had to check enable wireless display. You can see this Anycast right there. If it will focus on the phone instead of what's in the background. There we are. So, tap that and it's going to connect. And we'll, and it's connecting. It uh, must have dropped out. We'll have to try it again. All right, so we'll give it another try here. So have to tap enable wireless display, and uh, there it is. Any cast, it's connecting. So it says, and right, it says mirror cast ready to display. So of course it looks like there's a, a third way of doing it, um, scanning the QR code on the screen and yeah, um, <laughs> yeah it's a uh, it's flaky. I'll, I'll be honest, it's definitely flaky. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I was able to successfully connect my phone to a Netgear push to TV device, which is what they ultimately went with. Yeah, that's just weird. It's just, uh. It tries to connect and, uh. It drops out. It, uh. It, it cancels out. So. Looks like we're not gonna get the phone connected here in this video. But, yeah, guys, um. <laughs> what do you think of this? Got this, uh, got this fake Chromecast. It, uh, yeah. The only thing it says Chromecast is box, and of course that's a knockoff on its own. The good thing is, is uh, this was, cons uh, to my understanding, the, the the purchase amount for this was considerably less than a genuine Chromecast. Although a genuine Chromecast is what thirty bucks, I think they're not too expensive to my understanding, but. Um, yeah, it's, it's basically a cheap Miracast receiver that tries to look like a Chromecast on the outside and nothing else. I mean, you hook it up to the TV and it it obviously tells you right away it is not a legit Chromecast. This is not how a Chromecast behaves, by the way. Um, they're, they're, they're a lot different. Um, this I did set one up, or I, did, I tried to set one up, but the thing was, is uh, it was at the college, and of course the college Wi-Fi is secured down, and obviously it wouldn't work for a Chrome, actual genuine Chromecast. So the funny thing is, as I was saying earlier, is if this thing actually got a decent, uh, if it would, if the display, the, the quality of the video transmission was was decent, this thing actually would have fulfilled their needs as just a uh, a wireless display device but didn't quite didn't quite do it didn't quite do it but uh yeah so again that is a look at a fake grown cast so let me go get the box that way you can look at it one more time so yeah the fake chromecast yeah uh tv streaming device by google <laughs> yeah not no, 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 that's, that's not what it is.
I mean, you can stream. You can use it to stream your device, your your your, your laptop to your TV, but uh, it's not going to look so well. I mean, <laughs> like I say, guys, if it was just a tad bit more powerful, um, it could actually be something more than useless. But uh, unfortunately, it just didn't didn't quite hold up to that. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.